Hey guys, uh, Conformity here. Uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial on uh, web design and Joomla. So, uh, in this tutorial, I'll just be going over how to uh, how to uh, get to know Joomla, how to use it, how to set it up on your local host on your computer without using the internet, and as well um, setting it up with a server. So, we'll be going over some basic features such as what is a so uh, the module positions, the articles, and uh, a lot of other things that uh, sort of come hand in hand with Joomla, such as some web design techniques, uh, editing some CSS, and uh, finally, um, just uh, uploading and uh, getting everything all set up. So uh, let's get started. As you can see, I started with Google, I almost always do. Um, so uh, the first thing uh, you need to do in order to get to know something is to Google it, and uh, that's the way it works in this day and age. So what you do is you type it in. So I'll uh, just go to here, just click on the search bar, Joomla. Don't type in Joomla form, just type in Joomla here, and you'll see this come up, Joomla.org. That's a great place to start. So you'll see this is a Joomla page right here. The newest version uh, to this date is 1.7. So you can learn more about 1.7 by going to this, or you can just browse around and look at what it is. I have to say, at first, when I navigated here, it was a little bit confusing and daunting uh, at the same time. But um, but I'll tell you this right now, it's a content management system, so uh, as you can see, it says that right here. Um, if you're confused about what a content management system is, which you probably should be, I recommend you Google that. So let's go to our next tab here. Let's go content management system. And it comes right up here, and you can see uh, right here it comes up on Wikipedia. I love Wikipedia, so I'll click on that link. And... Um, so here you can see it's a way of storing all your data. Um, it's great for websites. Um, and uh, to me, the way I look at it is it's a way that can be, uh, it's a way that you can edit your website no matter where you are. So you can edit it on your phone. Uh, when you're on the go, you can edit it um, uh, at your friend's house. You could edit it at school. So <laughs> not that I'm recommending that, but uh, you can. And uh, so, um, and the, the goals of them um, are actually to man maintain security and um, the way they're written is using um, a programming language such as PHP or um, in, in conjunction with other um, programming languages such as JavaScript. Um, lots of times you'll see websites with Moo tools on them, and Moo tools is, uh, is another thing I probably can't go over right now, but it's, um, it's a great way to uh, have interactive websites um, without requiring Flash. Flash is also another way that websites are built. So all these can uh, basically be used in conjunction with Joomla, and Joomla is just one example of many uh, website uh, web content management systems, and you can view uh, a list of them by going to this here, and you can see that um, a lot of them, some of them are paid and some of them aren't. Um, Joomla is open source, so um, that's great, right? And there's ASP, and there's Perl, and there's... Um, anyway, there's a whole bunch of varieties, but Joomla is one of the most common because it, it um, has lots of documentation on it, um, and that documentation can actually be viewed here if you go to community. You can see lots of great ways to get involved, but uh, and support is also there So at, on this website, and you can find all of that right here on this website. I definitely recommend looking at it. The forums themselves are actually very useful. I'll just click on that so you can see, uh, and the forums look like this. They're normal forums, but um, for Joomla. So you usually get a response pretty quickly, which is great. Um, very, very nice to have these forums. And if you have an idea for Joomla, uh, just throw this in here. You can actually use the uh, uh, Joomla idea pool. Um, so anyway, let's get back to business, uh, what a content management system is. So uh, Joomla itself is using Joomla. Uh, so Joomla uh, is something that you upload to your server, and it runs It's a web application. A web application is something that... Well, if you know PHP stands for personal home page, it was developed a long time ago, and basically it serves to run scripts as in uh, you know, normal programming languages, but on the web. So what happens is it's a web server. Um, well, you'll send. Uh, think about it this way: you'll send data to the, you'll send a request to the um, web server, and it will send data back to you um, uh, with the PHP information being interpreted. Um, so in a sense, your web browser does not have PHP installed, and that's why when you set up your Joomla website, you'll need to actually install a separate um, program such as ZAMP, uh, WAMP, or whatever. But in my case, I use WAMP. So what you do to get WAMP going, um, if you want Joomla, first thing you need to do is download Joomla. So you'll see all this here, and you can um, uh, so you can just download it right here. You just download Joomla, and you'll see this page. So uh, uh, what you'll need to do is just download the zip file here. So um, once you do that, you're good to go. You've got that file. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, uh, actually, I will just for you. Um, so let's go. You can see it's downloading right now. 
Alright. So once it downloads, that's great. And you can um, once you do that, all you need to do is go to um, Google um, or a lamp or a Zamp or whatever. So I'll just use WAMP in this case. I'll type in WAMP and you can see a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, go to downloads. Alright, so you see all these things here. Um, since I'm running a 64-bit uh, Windows, I will install this. If you're running Linux, uh, make sure that you, uh, I believe it's called LAMP, so L-A-M-P, Google that, download that, or uh, just um, install it with your Ubuntu Software Center if you're using Ubuntu, or just uh, app, app get install. If you're using Mac, um, there is MAMP, so make sure that you look for that M-A-M-P, okay? Um, but in this case, I'm just using this, so I just download this. And it'll prompt me with a uh, sourceforge.net. And once you download this, all you need to do is um, follow the following steps. So I'll just save this right here. For finish now. Um, all you need to do once you download them is go to your file manager and look for the uh, install installation for both Joomla and uh, and WAMP. So right now I'm just going to unzip this Joomla package. Right click, go to WinRAR, and extract to its own folder which is great, it'll, want it, it'll want extract it. Then I'll look for the next part, which is uh, WAMP. Let's see what the file is, it's WAMP server. So let's go back down here to WAMP. Um, let's go to name, search sort by name here. So there it is, there's my installation file. Just double click that while we're uh, extracting. Go to next, and uh, just configure all that with your web browser. I'm not going to do it in this case because I've already installed it, so let's go exit the setup. What will happen after that is uh, you'll configure your web browser and uh, once you do that, go to your C drive and go to WAMP folder which will be created for you. And um, and then you'll see a bunch of things here and the first thing you need to do in order to uh, use WAMP is to um, actually um, start it up. So use your start menu and just go um, and uh, or just, uh, just double click right here, go to your wampmanager.exe and you can see that at the bottom of my screen, you don't see it right now, but you'll see a green, um, a green little uh, sim symbol, which will mean it, that it's on. You can click on that symbol, and what will happen is you'll see this. And all you need to do is go to PHP My Admin. Just click on that, and now you'll see something that looks like this. And what this is is an interface to uh, make your database. Now, in case I didn't say um, the um, database communicates with the website itself so with a content management system you have all the files necessary to run the website such as JavaScript files PHP files and likewise and then you have the content of it and the content of the content within modules within your articles and everything like that I know this is new terms too I'll explain to you what that is in a second that is contained inside of an SQL database and an SQL database if you think about it it could just be a file it, it communicates with a server and the ser there's a server that deals with the SQL it performs Chrome operations on it and it does many other things to keep your data organized in a good in a nice way this is a good thing this is great because this way you can keep your website separate from your data so you can import your data into another website easily without having to worry about replicating anything else. All the text is there, all the, all the, the important things are in the database, which is great that you, that you can separate them. So um, what you need to do is create a database, of course, since you have a new website. So what you need to do is just go to my first website and just type it in this li little thing here. And then go to create. Everything else is fine. It says my first database has been created. Now that you've done that, you can close this. And next, just navigate to click on this little uh, symbol at the bottom for WAMP server. Then go to localhost. And now there's another step you need to follow. Now that I've unzipped my, uh, my Joomla, um, all you need to do is go to your downloads once again. So let's go back to downloads up here. Various downloads. And now I'm going to go to my Joomla installation folder, and that's what this looks like. Let's rename it to. Oh, let's, let's actually. Well, let's cut cut it, and let's bring it back over to um, this one over here. Let's go back to our WAMP directory, and let's go to um, www and place it right in here. 
All right, now let's rename it to test website. All right, great. Now that I've done that, if I've refreshed this browser, I will see something called test website right here. So let's click on it, and what will happen is you'll see the installer for Joomla. And what we're doing now is we're installing Joomla. We are setting it up to run on our local host. So let's go next. And you'll see this information here. Let's go next again. And yes, next. And now we can configure some other things. You can select between MySQLi or MySQL. MySQLi is basically based on object-oriented programming. MySQL is not. It's a gr good thing to probably use MySQLi with Joomla 1.7. If you are using an older version of Joomla, such as 1.5 or 1.6, you may not be. You may not need to choose this version, and you should look at the documentation accordingly. So in most cases, the host name is localhost, and the username you can um, leave as root. So let's put root in there. Password is blank by default, so don't put anything in there. The database name is really important. This is what we configured just a minute ago. So let's go and and um, look and use that database. And since I've forgotten already, let's go back to PHP my admin. Oops. Let's go back to PHP my admin. Let's go click on this. Um, actually, let's go put it right here. So now we can see now the what we what we had called what we had made was called test and it has a zero in it, which is great. So let's put test in here. And now database prefix prefix is always randomized now in the newer Joomla versions, and you can select whether to remove or back up your tables. Just use backup to be safe so you don't delete anything. Go to next. Good. Okay. You don't have to worry about the FTP layer unless you have someone who does not want to... Yeah, all the information is right here. It's usually the case that you don't need one and you don't need to configure one. So don't worry about this. Let's go to next. Okay. Now you can configure some really important things such as your, uh, meta, your site name and your meta description. I actually recommend doing this immediately as I've had some issues with SEO afterwards and Google updating afterwards. So if you configure this right away, Google will actually pick up your site faster and you won't have to worry about um, bad information in there such as uh, the default which is Joomla Joomla Joomla. So let's type this in. You need a site name by default. Let's type site website in here. And from meta description we can, we can type in uh, this is uh, the, great, the best place to learn CMS like Joomla. And what we can put in here is Joomla. We can put the non-capital letter Joomla, the test, and for example, the capital test. And that's just an example of what you can do for meta keywords. Okay, now for the email. This is really important if you want to reset your password, so I recommend that you use your real email. So put in your real email, um, my email at um, gmail.com since I'm not going to put in mine. Admin, admin password. Make sure you choose something that you'll remember. So in this case, I'll just put test. And then you can install the sample data. The sample data is really a great thing to have if you're new to Joomla. So you can see here, you can populate the database with data so that you can, you can get an idea of what it'll look like. So in this case, I will actually install the sample data. Just click it. And wait a second, it will actually um, install the sample data. It'll say it's installed successfully. Next, click Next. And then you can now you can remove the installation folder. Um, you actually have to do that, so let's do it. Remove the installation folder. We'll say the installation folder is successfully removed. Now, if you're not using Joomla 1.7, you'll see a dialog saying that you need to do it manually. Um, if you need to do that, you'll need to use your uh, FTP or, um, in some cases, um, um, the other secure one, secure uh, um, uh, SSH. So uh, once you've done that, you'll see all this information, and then you can view your site. Just click on the site thing here at the very top. So this is what Joomla looks like by default. This is just the default um, Joomla, and you can see how this is laid out. So now it's time to explain how Joomla works. You can see this here is the uh, content, Joomla. 